Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. My name's Taylor, and today we're going to be going over the all-new 2025 Winnebago Revel. Um, what's super awesome about this Revel, of course, it's on that all-new, I mean, all-new, geez, all-wheel drive chassis, as well as a whole new interior design, as well as some exterior designs that you may have seen kind of just glimpsing at it right now. But the biggest thing is that it has seven days full of off-grid power with their dual lithium ion batteries. They're the GTOs, so it gives you 16,800 um, watt hours, as well as the dual alternator. So when you're in idle, you can also run that air, that air conditioning, which is super awesome. And then even though you have those big lithium ion batteries, within two hours of driving, those batteries will be fully charged. And then also with our solar panels being 210 watts, you have two of those, and then you have some uh, exterior solar ports that you can plug into to optimize your solar. Um, 106, sorry, 1,600 watts of solar total. So super excited about this. I'm even more excited to show you guys the interior, but as always, let's go ahead and go around exterior and then we'll save the best for last. Right over here, we have our all-terrain tires and nice upgraded rims. Sliding over here, one of the bigger things for our little step here, just a little bit more heavy duty, rugged feel, the nice little um, Revel imprinted right there. And then as you go up, the same carefree awning with LED lights and wind sensor, but you can kind of glimpse to that custom roof rack. And then you can get a side of that dual light bar up in front too, which has the nice little Revel to match our running board here. And now we'll go ahead and slide over to the rear of our coach. And another up upgrade for exterior is the big heavy duty ladder. And then you can kind of see a little bit more too with our camera up top. We've got some sensors up there on that custom roof rack. Go ahead and open it up here. Alrighty, so the bed is the same concept. They actually did a little bit more of a comfortable bed, a little bit more memory foam, so it's not as hard. A lot of customers were putting in their own and getting some aftermarket beds to kind of make it a little bit more comfortable. So uh, Winnebago go ahead, uh, went ahead and did that for you. So I definitely recommend coming in and kind of testing it out to see if you liked it. Over here, you do have a nice little storage bank. And this is where the lithium ions uh, batteries were before, but now they're nice and enclosed and hidden which is nice. And then you have your little power reset here too, just because they will automatically protect themselves when it's just sitting there. So you just can hold this down to re turn them on. And then you have that exterior solar port here for more solar. And then you have your little tie downs here for that smart floor. Right over here, we have the shower, hot and cold, and where you can summarize and winterize your unit. And then the water pump as well as the inlet there. Some storage up above here, and then your nice little, um, I don't know, I call it a little go pack, <laughs> just so you can kind of put in all your first aid kit stuff inside. Alrighty. And another thing I wanted to point out too, you have the nice little screens here that are very well insulated. Super thick, but you can take them off if you didn't want it, as well as another um, bug screen here. So it just kind of helps with that insulation, especially during the winter months. I'll go ahead and close it up now. Perfect. Right over here is our 30 amp shore power cord. Same as the other one. And then we have the cassette toilet, five gallons here, still on the wheels, still the same thing as the other models. And then it is all new for the tank sizes though. We have a 35 gallon freshwater tank and then a 20, uh, 20 gallon gray. So that's kind of cool. And then our gray tank dump right over here. Running board to match the other side. 25 gallon diesel fuel here. And then the seats on this model are manual, except the lumbar is electric. And you can kind of get a little glimpse of uh, the cockpit here, the nice little wood accents to really heighten the luxury feel, give it more a little bit of a cabin look, um, but we'll get in, into that. 
as soon as we pop that hood. Here we go, this is on that all-wheel drive Mercedes-Benz nine-speed automatic transmission, 211 horsepower, and of course that dual alternator that we already spoke about inside with the dual light bar up top. But very similar with your DEF tank, your um, geez, fuel, I mean, so your, your uh, oil right here, and then your windshield wiper fluid, all within hand's reach. Perfect. Alrighty, now we're gonna go ahead and take a glimpse inside. I love the wood accents. Nice little upgraded table here. It's just nice and magnetic, so you don't have to worry about the latch. It's a little bit easier to use. Nice and flush there. And then once you get inside, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the new upgraded comfortable seats here. And they have the two three-point seat belts here, which is awesome for kiddos. And then you can also go ahead and unlatch it right here and separate them to kind of give yourself some more space, make it a little bit more comfortable um, for anybody, any passengers. So it's not really two smaller seats that are kind of better for teenagers or kids. You can fit two adults here comfortably. And then you can also um, make them go back and forth too, which is kind of nice. I'll go ahead and bring that back. And then our table is back there as well, just to kind of have a little bit more space here to make it a little easier to show you guys. <clears throat> and then you do have the nice little insulated covers for the windows in here as well that roll up. And then the same window concept. Rain, snow or shine, you can have them open. And then don't have to worry about the bugs there. This just easily rolls up, but super thick and very well insulated. You just roll it up, tuck it away there. I love all the little Revel, you know, stitching all over. Sorry, <laughs> words are hard. Um, but now I'll go ahead and I'll put that bed up after, sorry, a little rendezvous, you should go look at the bed first before we go over there just so you can kind of see Same size, a little bit more comfortable and open. And then you also have a nice little screen outside of that door as you come back. So you can kind of close off that area when you're sleeping, give yourself a little bit more privacy as well as um, black it out there. But now I'll go ahead and just have the bed go up here so we can kind of show you another cool feature that Winnebago did for the Revel. Alrighty, so this is the little door I was kind of telling you about that you can zip up. But once you come inside, I think it's kind of cool. I've seen a few aftermarket people do this little bench right here, so it's automatically like that, which is nice. Um, you can kind of convert your cushions if you wanted to make it a little bit more cushiony. But I think it's pretty comfortable when you have your bed up and you kind of just want to have a little hut in here, or kind of sit down, read, nice little nook area. And then you have your window, of course. Again, with a nice full insulated covers that are all Velcro all the way around, so you can rip them off if you wanted to. And then you have some of the bungee cord storage up above here. We got some charging as well, and then as our lights are on over here. Make sure I didn't miss anything as far as the bedroom. That is it. But yeah, I love this little add-on here. I think it's nice to close that up, especially if you don't want to see any sunlight when you're sleeping, because I definitely don't. And then the latches are new as well, which I love. So you just twist them and it gives it a tighter seal and it's kind of easier to open. A little bit more sturdy. I know like throughout, you know, kind of using the Rebel, they got a little loose. So these are a lot heavy duty, a little bit more sturdy. And then you just have nice little cubby, cubbies in your curtain here for that shower as well as the shower heads all in here and then all of the goodies that uh, Winnebago gives you as far as the hoses your 30 amp shore power cord nice little bamboo shelf pretty much all similar <clears throat> and then you have a little towel rack here as well nice little mirror 
Oh, oh. But all the door, I like how the door is um, separated in two as well. Because then you can kind of shut off each area. It's not as awkward because you could still close this door halfway to get this way or vice versa. Having that one door kind of just makes it awkward opening. So I kind of like that. It gives you a little bit more versatility there. Whoops. Make sure the latch is the proper way so you can close it and then go ahead and unlatch. So all the latches everywhere are going to be like that. So the same one over here. Just turn it and then you can open it up. You have nice storage inside of here, all carpeted. Especially because this is where most of the rattles come from when you're going down the road. So as you can tell, it's like pretty solid. It's tight there. You have your little rack here too to kind of put your soaps and all of your kitchen necessities here. Nice little leather looking backsplash. And of course, beautiful woodwork for that counter space. And then I will go ahead and open the storage right over here. Just have a little cubby. And then I will open these ones starting from the bottom so you can really see. Oops. But yeah, I like how it's kind of a little bit metal on the um, sides there. Super easy to clean, nice and slick and light. And then the latches, I don't know, I'm just totally in love with the latches, so those are pretty cool. As well as the woodwork. Again, the nice little Revel accents here for our little heating outlets. Um, our little table is here. It's nice and buttoned up. I don't want to have to rearrange all that again, but I do want to show you, of course, that little fridge. It's in the same location, but this is a new location for this drawer that comes out. So it kind of duels as extra counter space. I like how it's hidden inside of the actual drawer itself instead of having to kind of store it somewhere else or find a spot for it. And then, of course, that little um, portable one burner induction cooktop that you can kind of take out and plug in and you're good to go. So I think that was smart to kind of put that drawer right there. A little bit more multi-use. And then here is our control panel right up here. So it's kind of just showing all of our charge up here. Gives you 45, gives you kind of available time, your amp hours, your input, your output. You can kind of go through all those options and kind of Perfect, my glove did work. And then you have your nice little Timberline rugged refined luxury for your heating and AC. And you can also go through the settings as well. Down below here, we have our water pump and our tank levels, as well as battery level for the chassis and house. We have our light switches. So in the middle, that means they're off. And then you have the high and low settings, which is cool. Right over here is that same bed version. You turn it off, need your little key. It goes up and down electrically. That kind of wraps up that area here. I like how everything's nice in one spot. You have your big two touch screens. And then now up, I have the light already on, but of course, plenty of storage up top here. We have our shades to black everything out. <clears throat> and then as we jump up here, I'll go ahead and start the chassis so everything will light up. But just sitting up here, um, I know it's Mercedes and it always feels so luxurious, but with the woodwork, I just, I don't feel like I'm in a custom van. Like, I just feel like I'm in a really luxury, uh, luxurious car. So I was really blown away by um, the detailed work here. Let me, sorry, turn down that radio really quick. So super jaw dropping in here. Steering wheel is a little bit bigger, but still has all the same concept as far as um, answering your phone, going to the home, setting the cruise control, and so forth. And then everything for the touchscreen is the same as well, same size. You just have a little bit more woodwork and accents. And you can go through all the apps and settings. You have your active cruise control, your brake assist, all those necessities as far as safety. And then down below here, just your heating, cooling, the beautiful two size cup holders, which is always awesome um, for the ladies. They love that. And then you got your parking brake down here. And of course, these chairs do swivel, so you can kind of create a little bit more comfortable um, eating area, lounging area. <clears throat> so that's pretty much going to wrap up our 2025 Winnebago Revel. If you guys have any uh, questions, comments, or concerns, my contact information is right here or to be tagged below. Um, again, my name is Taylor. Contact me at 970-388-7937. Thank you so much. Have a good day.